Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are back with Wheatley's Repisal, the series where Wheatley cannot make up his mind. <laughs> right, continue on. Why does Wheatley think the little middle boxes with legs have any intelligence whatsoever? They don't. Just don't fall as you walk your way through. There's some deep pits, quite bottomless. Well, Skyfert, I think there's a reason Wheatley believes that they have intelligence, because uh, when GLaDOS said the paradox in the main campaign, all the- all the little cubes, all the Franken cubes, they- they short-circuited, because they could actually understand the paradox, or ah, Wheatley could I not. I knew someone was alive in here! Yes, Wheatley. Uh, I was alive in here. And so were these chairs. But that's not important right now, we made the, the important thing is that we need to make these chairs no longer alive. And I have seen a gif, in a Discord that shall not be named, of a very alarming and worrying problem that I don't want to have to deal with, but I might have to deal with, eventually. There we go. Whoa! That was startling. Uh... Can I please get rid of this chair? No? Okay. I'll have to fizzle these instead. I'm coming! Coming! Don't start yet! Don't start yet! What if I want to start yet? Don't mind me, just moving the old test chamber a little bit closer to me. Um, out of thought, maybe proximity to the test solving might give us stronger results. Be honest, you can't even tell, can you? Seamless. Uh-huh, sure. Oh, I see where this is going. Sorry, does it actually make you feel good doing that? Because, yes. you know... It's not impressive, no one's impressed. It's I know it's not impressive, it's just fun. A baby could smash one of them. It's not yes. impressive. Yes, I can see exactly how not impressive it is, Wheatley. Like, this is not impressive, but it's fun, okay? Also, that cube does not auto-respawn, so I guess we gotta use the funnel to get it. Oh, and it's a Frankie cube. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? And then I guess we go over to the other side, right? Wow, this is some really bent-up stuff. That kind of, that kind of looks like the plastic, like the, the, the plastic that you see birds get stuck in. Recycle plastic, people. Recycle it. Don't throw it away. Interesting. Why though? Hmm. Well, I have a few theories. That was odd. Like, this wasn't even necessary for the puzzle, so... <laughs> like, most of the Wheatley Monitor stuff, they're hidden in plain sight oh, in the puzzles. Yes. But this is like, standing well out like done. a sore thumb. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed that, Wheatley, cause, uh... What in the world? Wow. There's just a lot of broken stuff, isn't there? break back there. Oh, whoops. But yes, I think people did point out to me that you do see this kind of catwalk sometimes. Like in the main campaign when something breaks back there. Are you- are you absolutely sure you're solving these correctly? I mean... Excuse me, what? You- you were all excited for me back there, and then... I jump over a gap that's not even supposed to be here, and you think I'm solving puzzles wrong? I think Wheatley is totally corrupt at this point. To your left, you'll see some lights of some kind. Don't know what they do, um, but very sciencey anyway. Blinking lights on NL. I hear if you connect to it with a Telnet client, you can watch- you can watch Star Wars. And to your right, something huge! Hurtling to what? Oh God, run! That's not supposed to be there. Hello, sorry, Kevin. sorry, my fault. Carry on. Uh, yeah, I will carry on after I keep calm. That is. <laughs> well, so much for that door. 
where am I? What am I? What, am, what is my actual goal here? What am I trying to accomplish? Nothing back here. Oh, I do need to take care of you, don't I? I want you as well. Well, that's easy enough. Almost forgot. <laughs> they both bounce the same way, basically. Oh, am I supposed to get there? Well, then I guess I'm done already, right? Get in the lift. Okay, I'll get in the lift. Jeez, Wheatley. I was busy with the chairs, but give me a break. Come on. What kind of what kind of elevator shaft is this, and how did Wheatley make it? What? This is what. <laughs> This is the shortest elevator shaft ever, what the heck? What is it even... connected to? How does... How does this... It's not pneumatic! That's... What? How does... This doesn't make sense! What did you do, Skyverit? <laughs> oh man, okay, let's, let's just ignore that. Yeah, I wonder how we're supposed to break this one. Starting now, if I'm honest, to wonder if you're doing all this screen breaking on purpose. Yes. I I'm beginning to actually take it personally. You know what I mean? Like it's like a, it's like an insult to me. Good. Impossible, um, as it is to imagine. There actually is a solution, devilishly hidden. I have seen Deathwish play a map with that Wheatley quote, and it was not a fun map. <laughs> it was a very, very hard map, and a map that I will never play myself. Or maybe it was an occupied it, but I think it was Death Wish. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, that's not what I intended. There we go. I'll give you a hint. Button. That's all I'm gonna say. One word. Button. Thanks, Wheatley. That's an excellent hint. I wonder... I'm not entirely convinced that's intended, but... Don't got I don't have a better idea. Oh, I shouldn't- I shouldn't have done that. Should not have said that. Or done that, rather. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! I knew you'd solve it! That's the end already? Alright, well, <laughs> as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!